have the key and one of these things is not like the others. So I don't live in Milford, but I have been really fortunate to work with these guys and with Trudy and the Milford Democrats and folks um, in my district. I ran twice in Hollis, which is um, leans Republican uh, pretty heavily, and I ran against two long-term incumbent Republicans who were quite well known. So I didn't win the last two times that I ran. Um, and this time I was asked to run in the Floterial. So um, that's a district that runs from Hollis and Milford up, uh, up Route 13 through New Boston and Mont Vernon. So difficult district. And one of the reasons that I took the challenge on is because I think it is the kind of a job where you have to get acclimated to what it is to be a state rep and to run for state rep, what it is up in Concord. Um, my background is in uh, technology training and I'm a project management professional, so I have a professional business background. I have a master's of education. So I've done a lot of different things and I have a set of skills that I think I would bring to Concord that would be helpful to me in bringing people together to solve problems. But one of the reasons that I jumped into the race is that I attended a Hillsborough meeting and Bill Gould from the New Boston Democrats said, you really should run for the Floterial because we have um, a, an incumbent there who is a free state person. And I had heard about the free staters when I ran the first time and, and a lot of people really don't know what that means. But um, when we talk about the Democrats and Republicans up in the House, we have more than that to face in the House at this point because um, the free state movement started outside the state and they chose the state and they're coming here to take over the state so that they can run an agenda that is for them and not really for us. And so I'm running a campaign, not certainly not a smear campaign, I mean I'm running on my own merits, but I think that even Republican voters in the district should be aware that um, they're voting for someone whose values might be a little right to even their values. Um, and so I am trying to get the word out and um, in doing that I asked the New Hampshire Democratic Party and the Committee to Elect House Democrats Chair you know, to give me an idea of how I could beat this guy. So some of you may have received a mailer. Is the mail? Is yeah. Raising hand? Did you get my mailer? Oh good. Even, even you got it. And, um, and we're going to do a phone calling campaign to all of the undeclared voters um, starting this weekend. And so if anybody is interested in doing a very targeted, you know, it's a very targeted script, I'm going to be having um, a phone session, a phone banking session at my house on Saturday afternoon after knocking doors in the on Saturday morning. And Steve Marchant, who ran for governor, is going to come and, and help with that. He, he actually offered to help with my campaign. So, um, so I just want to say that I am very appreciative for all the people that I have met throughout the whole process, the last several years. There's a lot of people in this room that I know and I've met through, you know, through a lot of different activities on the, of opposition to the pipeline and um, trying to get the big money out of politics was the first time I testified with Dan Meeks and met him. So there's a, we have an embarrassment of riches in the Democratic Party. We have a lot of great people here who are doing civic work. And I hope that you will consider you know, asking your friends to vote for me so that I can go continue doing some of that myself up in Congress. Thanks.